Hi, I'm Scott Rosenberger, Product Marketing Manager for Balance Measurement Products. We're here today to do a quick intro, overview, slash run-through of a new feature of the Balif website. This new part number configurator feature allows users to identify and select the proper BTL series linear position sensor and returns a complete part number. In addition, the configurator provides access to relevant product information and documentation. Today we're going to do a couple of quick examples. We're going to get into the product configurator, uh, look for some part numbers and select some part numbers, and just take a quick look at what we, uh, what we have to offer here. There are a number of ways to get to the product part number configurator. The most direct way is to click directly on product finder on the website homepage and then navigate through to sensors and then magnetostrictive sensors. And so this is a new page that you're seeing here. On this page, you see each of the BTL series product families. Uh, you can see here on the top, uh, position sensors for extreme environmental conditions linear position sensors for industrial hydraulics, level measurement sensors, mobile hydraulic sensors, etc. In today's uh, example, we're going to just do a we're going to do a couple of quick uh, run throughs, just just looking for common part numbers. So we're going to start here with magnetostrictive linear position sensors for industrial hydraulics. So you click that. Then notice on the left here that you can actually select some attributes, um, including the uh, application attributes, some technical features, the task, the interface. Just to narrow this down, we're going to start with the interface here, and we're going to go to analog voltage. And we're going to select the BTL7YZ series. This is the standard rod style, SAE threaded rod style version. So we're going to click on that. We're going to click details. And as you scroll down the page, you can see that the product configurator is loading. And there it is. And so we're going to start here at the top, and we're going to go through some of these attributes and uh, make up a part number. So configurability, this just refers to whether this is a standard version or the PC configurable version. We're going to select the more common standard version, so that's uh, configurable with a calibration box. Now we're asked to select the interface. We're going to select the very common 0 to 10 volt interface. Next is power supply. We're going to select the 10 to 30 volt uh, input power supply version, again, that being by far the most common configuration. Now we get down here to mechanical configuration. You got a number of options here. What this really is talking about is whether we want a 10 millimeter diameter pressure tube or an eight millimeter di diameter pressure tube. The 10 millimeter is, again, by far the most common. We're gonna pick the O-ring version. This is the standard Z flange version in Balif nomenclature. So we're gonna pick that. And we're gonna pick connection type and we're gonna pick connectors. And notice here that after I pick connectors, another box appears. And you're gonna see that we now have some options for connectors. We're gonna pick a M12 eight pin connector here. And then your last selection is to simply pick a stroke length. We'll just pick a valid stroke length. I'm going to go with 500 millimeters here. And that's it. We're going to click Update. And notice that the configurator returns a complete Balif part number or type code is what it's called here. So we have BTL7-A510-M0500-Z-S115. Uh, there are CAD models available from this link. We're not going to open that right now. Um, we're going to go down here below, and this is where all the relevant product information is going to be now. We're going to have a data sheet. We'll get back to that in just a second. Um, some declarations of conformity, the user manuals, and things like that. Um, really, the most important piece of information here is probably going to be the data sheet. So we're going to pull up that data sheet, and this is going to be what is called a family data sheet meaning this is going to cover a family of products. In this case, it's going to cover all BTL7 series, um, rod style, SAE threaded linear position sensors. So let's take a quick look, quick run through at this data sheet. Um, notice here at the top of this gray box, you're going to see a part number that looks a little bit weird, a little bit unusual. Um, BTL7 dash you know, ABCD, et cetera, et cetera. Now, this is sort of wildcard information at this point because this data sheet covers a wide range of products. So 
uh, each of these lowercase letters here in the part number or type code uh, are explained below. Lowercase a, for example, is the interface. We picked an A in our example, so that's a voltage output 0 to 10 volts. Uh, you can see the rest of the options listed below. So everything is explained here on the data sheet. So this is also a good reference tool to explain uh, the, the BAL of part numbering breakdown and how it, how it works. The specifications are on the second page of the data sheet. And note that some of these specifications are dependent on the configuration that you picked. Uh, here's a good example right here that I've highlighted. This is the stroke length, and depending on the stroke length, the specification for inrush current is slightly different. And you can see that there, there are some other length dependent specifications, and that's going to vary uh, uh, product to product and how that breaks down and how that, how that works. But you're going to be able to see that on the data sheet clearly. Uh, down below are some wiring diagrams and basic mechanical diagrams. And again, because this covers a wide range of potential final part configurations, you're going to see that, uh, that that's, there are a number of these here. So, um, and that's it. So that's, uh, that is in a nutshell, the, uh, that's one example of so selecting a rod style. And that one was relatively straightforward. Um, just, we're going to do one more example here. And so I want you to note here that you can actually back up. You've got a bread crail trum here that you can follow backwards. So we're going to go back into magnetostrictive restrictive sensors and basically start at the beginning. This time, let's go into the magnetostrictive linear position sensors in profile housing. We're going to select an Ethernet IP. We're looking for an Ethernet IP linear position sensor in the profile housing. Um, so I can actually narrow this big list here down rather than scroll through this long table here in the uh, in the main part of the page, I can actually just come over here and select Ethernet IP. I'm going to get this narrowed down. Now I only have one choice, obviously, so that's what I'm going to pick. Um, so here we go. We're into the product page. And here is the product configurator right here in the middle of the screen. Note that for this particular product, you only have one selection to make. There are no other selections to make. Your only variable in this case is the stroke length. So, so let's go ahead and type in a stroke length here. We'll go with a slightly longer one, 2,000 millimeters. Also note as I do this that uh, if I st I'm, I've stopped on 20 here, and note that it's telling me that that value is not allowed. That's not a valid stroke length. We do the same thing. If I exceed the stroke length here, I'll put in 10,000 millimeters. That's not possible. So that's going to uh, show me that that's invalid. Let's just go ahead and put in 2,000. And we're going to update that. Here again, we get a complete type code or part number. And again, just like before, we get all the relevant product information. Um, in this case, including a device master file because this is Ethernet IP. And uh, again, a family data sheet cover that gives you all the relevant information. And again, below provides technical specifications that are, in some cases, dependent on the actual product that you configured. So those are just a couple of examples of the BTL series part number configurator. Again, that is accessible directly from the home page. So we'll go back to the home page again. Here in the right in the uh, or in the bottom of the main screen, you've got a link. You've got a uh, box labeled Product Finder. Simply clicking that box will take you to the product, the Balif product assortment, and sensors and magnetostrictive restrictive sensors, and you're into the product page. So uh, that's it in a nutshell. We're not going to run through any other examples right now. There are many options that you can choose from here. A lot of functionality over here in the selector pane on the left where you can filter out attributes and help you actually select a product. But that is the basic functionality of the product part number configurator. So please visit the Balif website and try the configurator for yourself. If you have any questions, contact Balif.